role of ILO conventions on migrant workers in realizing safe, orderly and regular migration. The contributions of migrant workers to their origin and destination countries are often overlooked. Not only do they supply much needed labor and skills, but they also create more jobs, develop markets and contribute to social security systems. Migrant workers also act as mediators between countries of origin and destination and transfer skills and knowledge acquired abroad. Some of the problems facing migrant workers start as early as their recruitment process. The ILO has found that unscrupulous recruiters may force them to pay up to a year's salary. As a result, many have to borrow from families or money lenders with the risk of becoming victims of trafficking or debt bondage. In case of exploitation, migrant workers' only resource is often to either quit or suffer in silence. This is one reason why the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development calls for the protection of all workers, including migrant workers and particularly women. SDG Target 8.8 .8. Protect labour rights and promote safe and secure working environments of all workers, including migrant workers, particularly women migrants and those in precarious employment. Ratifying and implementing ILO conventions 97 and 143 on migrant workers, as well as implementing their accompanying recommendations 86 and 151, is key to realizing the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. It helps advance the ILO Decent Work and Fair Migration Agendas and contributes to the outcomes of the Global Compact on Safe, Orderly and Regular Migration. Fair and effective labour migration governance can promote sustainable development in countries of origin, transit and destination and offer benefits to migrant workers and their families. On the other hand, when labour migration is poorly governed, a number of challenges may arise. These include the lack of labour and social protection, brain drain, displacement, abuses in terms of working time and wages, occupational health hazards, discrimination and a risk of forced labour, including trafficking in persons. The ratification of Conventions 97 and 143 can also help promote consistent approaches to improving labour migration governance and help address irregular migration. It can help meet modern challenges to promote productivity and economic growth while supporting rights of migrant workers. All of this may result in enhanced protection for migrant workers, regularised migration flows and a lower incidence of migrant workers in the informal economy of countries of destination. It can also result in more balanced supply and demand, better development and transfer of skills, as well as skills recognition, benefiting both enterprises and migrant workers. The ILO instruments on migrant workers provide detailed guidance on the conditions in which labour migration should take place. In particular, they recognise the following key elements and principles. An effective policy should take into account both short and long-term labour market needs and socio-economic consequences of migration for migrant workers and countries of origin transit and destination. Recruitment procedures should be regulated to ensure they are fair and adequately protect migrant workers. Combating abusive recruitment practices requires the combined effort of origin and destination countries. Before their departure from the country of origin, 
migrant workers should receive a comprehensive employment contract in a language they understand, outlining the conditions of work and pay and information on living and working conditions. Assessing labour market needs at all skills levels can help ensure businesses attract the talent they need and migrant workers freely compete with nationals on an even playing field, thus finding the jobs that better match their skills. All migrant workers, including those in an irregular situation, should be able to enjoy their basic human rights, including the fundamental rights at work. Migrant workers in a regular situation should enjoy equal treatment with national workers, without discrimination based on race, sex, nationality or religion, with respect to working conditions, membership in trade unions and collective bargaining rights, housing, social security, employment taxes and access to justice. They should also enjoy equality of opportunity and treatment in employment and occupation, social security, trade union and cultural rights, and individual and collective freedoms. Equal treatment should be guaranteed to migrant workers in an irregular situation concerning remuneration, social security and other benefits accrued as entitlements arising out of past employment, as well as access to justice in defending their rights before a competent body. The promotion of safe, orderly and regular migration through a rights-based approach while taking into account labour market needs requires a comprehensive policy framework guided by international labour standards. Such a framework is essential to achieve social justice for migrant workers and their families. It also helps to ensure that businesses and communities can enjoy the full benefits that fair and effective labour migration governance can bring through workforce diversity and labour market integration. The ILO has produced complementary policy guidance, such as the 2006 Multilateral Framework on Labour Migration, the 2016 General Principles and Operational Guidelines for Fair Recruitment, and the 2016 Guiding Principles on the Access of Refugees and Other Forcibly Displaced Persons to the Labour Market. All of these are firmly rooted in ILO standards, including Conventions 97 and 143.